Hello, Sci-Fi Summary here, today I will show you an adventure drama film from 2012, titled Life of Pi. The film stars Suraj Sharma as Pai Patel. Irfan Khan as adult Pai Patel. Adil Hussain as Santosh Patel, and Rafe Spall as writer. The storyline revolves around an Indian teenager named Pai Patel, telling a novelist about his life story, and how at 16 he survives a shipwreck and is adrift in the Pacific Ocean on a lifeboat with a Bengal tiger. Watch out, take care, spoilers ahead, and before we start, please click subscribe button, turn on bell notification so you can watch more video like this. Pai Patel, an immigrant from Pondicherry in India living in Montreal, Canada, is approached by a local novelist who has been referred to him by his uncle, a family friend, believing that Pai's life story would make a great book. Pai relates an extended tale, his parents had named him Piscine Melitre after a swimming pool in France. He changes his name to Pai, the mathematical symbol, when he begins secondary school, got him alert, even repeating numerous digits of Pi because he is tired of being taunted with the nickname Pissing Patel. His family owns a local zoo, and Pai takes an interest in the animals, especially a Bengal tiger named Richard Parker because of a clerical error. Pai tries to feed the tiger, endangering himself to being attacked, and to teach him the reality of the tiger's nature as a carnivore, Pai's father, Santosh Patel forces him to witness it killing a goat. He is raised Hindu and vegetarian, but at 12 years old, he is introduced to Christianity and then Islam, and starts to follow all three religions as he just wants to love God. When asked if he is also Jewish, he replies that he lectures in Kabbalah at the university. When Pai is 16, his father decides to close the zoo and move his family to Canada, and sell the zoo animals, to ensure a good future for his children. They book passage with their animals, to be sold in North America, on a Japanese freighter named that seems so. On board the ship, Pai's father gets into an argument with the ship's cook when he speaks to Pai's mother, Gita Patel rudely. One night, the ship encounters a heavy storm and begins to sink while Pai is on deck marveling at the storm. He tries to find his family, but a crew member throws him into a lifeboat. From the rough sea, he watches helplessly as the ship sinks, killing his family and its crew. After the storm, Pai finds himself in the lifeboat with an injured zebra, and is joined by an orangutan, named Orange Juice, who lost her offspring in the shipwreck. A spotted hyena emerges from the tarp covering half of the boat, and kills the zebra. To Pai's distress, the hyena also mortally wounds the orangutan in a fight. Suddenly Richard Parker emerges from under the tarp, and kills and eats the hyena. Pai finds emergency food and water rations on the boat. He builds a small raft of flotation devices so that he can stay at a safe distance from the tiger. Realizing that he must feed the tiger to protect himself, Pai begins fishing, with some success. He also collects rain water for both to drink. At one point, he makes a board ladder for the tiger to climb back into the boat after it had jumped off to hunt fish. In a nighttime encounter with a breaching whale, Pai loses much of his supplies. Faced with starvation, he eats raw fish. After many days at sea, Pai realizes that he can no longer live on the tiny raft and trains the tiger Richard Parker to accept him in the boat. He also realizes that caring for the tiger is keeping him alive. After weeks longer at sea, near the end of their strength, they reach a floating island of edible plants, supporting a forest, freshwater pools, and a large population of meerkats. Both Pai and Richard Parker eat and drink freely and regain strength. But at night the island transforms into a hostile environment, with the freshwater turning acidic, digesting all the dead fish that died in the pools. The tiger returns to the lifeboat at night. Pai finds a human tooth inside a plant flower and concludes that the plants are carnivorous, requiring them to leave the island. The lifeboat eventually reaches the coast of Mexico. Finally back on land, Richard Parker stumbles away from Pai and stops at the edge of the jungle. Pai expects that the tiger will turn toward him and acknowledge him, but instead he looks into the jungle for a while and goes in. Pai, too weak to follow, lies in the sand. He is rescued by a group who carry him to hospital but he weeps that the tiger had walked away without him. In hospital, insurance agents for the Japanese freighter come to hear his account of the incident. They find his story unbelievable, and ask him to tell them what really happened, if only for the credibility of their report. He answers with a less fantastic but detailed account of sharing the lifeboat with his mother, a sailor with a broken leg, and the cook. In this story, the cook kills the sailor to use him as bait and food. In a later struggle, 
Pai's mother pushes him to safety on a smaller raft, and the cook stabs her as she falls overboard to the sharks. Later, Pai returns to grab the knife and kills the cook. In the present, the writer notes parallels between the two stories, the orangutan was Pai's mother, the zebra was the sailor, the hyena was the cook, and Richard Parker, tiger, was Pai himself. Pai asks him which story the writer prefers, he chooses the one with the tiger because it is the better story, to which Pai responds, and so it is with God. Glancing at a copy of the insurance report, the writer notices a closing comment about the remarkable feat of surviving 227 days at sea, especially with a tiger, meaning that the agents chose that story as well. Hello, sci-fi summary here, today I will show you an adventure drama so film from 2012. Like